And now it's time for our viewer poll review. Earlier this month, we asked, are you worried about SB 896 affecting freedom of speech? 85% of you said yes, and 15% of you said no. We also asked, who is to blame for the need to raise the debt limit? 54% of you say the current president, 14% of you say former presidents, and 32% of you blame Congress. All right, come to crossroadstoday.com slash vote to take part in our viewer polls. And now we continue the conversation with Joe Vickers about a Juneteenth celebration coming to Port Lavaca. All right, so let's get down to, to the details of the events. And I hear there's a child's, um, a youth stage. Uh, absolutely it is, absolutely it is. Well, the dates of this uh, function is gonna be June 16th, which is a Friday. Uh, that's going to be where we're going to have the meet and greet afternoon. I mean, this is where people come in from all over the state and some of them coming from out of state. And we'll meet at uh, one of the um, hotels and uh, meet and greet. And that's going to carry on for the rest of the evening. Saturday morning comes, they're going to have a, um, a workshop. Uh, I don't know exactly the details about it, but they're going to have a workshop. Saturday afternoon <clears throat> is when basically the function is going to actually start and they have, well, let me back up for a second. The facility was supposed to have been at George Adams Park, was what we were supposed to have been having it at. The city did us a favor this year. They started construction and it went right down the middle of um, MLK Street and it blocked the area where we were supposed to be having uh, the, the, uh, the, the celebration. activities, the celebration. Yeah. So the city came in and said that we can go, uh, this, that they can take it to uh, the Bay Peninsula Front. Bayfront, yeah. which is a wide open area. We've got more space than we can use now. And like I said, the city did us a favor by taking us out of this small congested area. Not saying that the George Adam Park was, a, was an issue. It just wasn't enough room for what's going on. Last year when we had the function, it was knuck and tuck. People just packed in like sardines. But now that we're able to go out to the peninsula now, we got all the space in the world. So with that in mind, we're setting up three, three uh, stages. Wow. The first stage is going to be the, um, I think it's called the uh, gold stage, which is going to be where the seniors are going to be. This is where the people can go and they play dominoes, play cards, and just, just fellowship at. The other stage is going to be called the silver stage, and this is where the youngsters are going to be. And we are impressed on the type of uh, response we got back from the kids. The kids are going to run their own stage. Oh, wow. They're, I mean, we're going to emphasize that anything that goes on is going to be going on through the kids' stage. And the kids are going to run their own stage. They are setting up their own type of activities and whatsoever, and they're going to control the time, the slots, and all that for the, for the rest of the day. And then we have what we call the um, platinum stage. This is where the band going to be. And you call what group a group? The Cherry Boys. The Cherry Boys is one band group that's going to, one group that's going to be there. They were the winners of the Victoria, Theater Victoria that's, Talent that's, Show. That's what I heard. I heard, I heard they were a pretty good group of uh, uh, musicians. But that's how we're going to have it set up this year. And uh, as far as the tents and all the activities uh, go along now, I don't know how that's going to be just yet, but I do know the three main stages will be set up, and most of the emphasis is going to be going toward the silver stage, which is where the kids are going to be. I love that y'all have taken this opportunity to engage the youth and you've given them their own stage to perform on. There's nothing like a showcase and there's nothing like a party where you can show off your own talents with your friends, your family, your community. It's amazing work and we're all looking forward for it. It's going to be June 16th, 17th, and 18th. And the 18th is the Sunday. That's where we're going to do the fellowship. This is where we're going to have church in under the uh, tent somewhere. And I think the, one of those speakers is going to be uh, Felix MacArthur. Oh, wow. And um, once again, uh, after that, they're going to have what they call the fish fry. And that's one of the biggest events that go along with this thing is the fish fry. I mean, this, it's all the fish that you can eat. And wow. uh, they do a fantastic job of preparing that as well. It sounds like a great way to spend Juneteenth weekend, Father's Day weekend, a wonderful time in Port Lavaca. Thank you so much, Joe, for joining us on Community Crossroads. Well, thank you for inviting us in. And like I said, we appreciate the opportunity to uh, vent about what we're going to be carrying on and what's going to be going on in the, in the community of uh, Port Lavaca. 
All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us for Community Crossroads. That's it for this week's show. Have a great weekend.